Hello guys, today I want to show you something cool with the Arduino uh, which is a Minecraft server indicator. It uses the Arduino which is a open source uh, development kit and it uses the Ethernet shield which I can con you connect to your in your network and you can also use it to contact the internet and uh, what I made was um, uh, just two just two LEDs there's a red there's a green LED it's at red now because I was playing around with it so if I plug it out mm -hmm. and plug it back in mm -hmm. you'll see that there's, there's no lights lighting because it's just waiting the, it's, it's waiting on um, a message that will be sent uh, from the computer which will check to see if the server is online at a, a given interval so I'll start this up now and you'll see the LED as we s progress through it. I wrote this, I wrote this using Java because uh, it's really my primary programming language and uh, it's it's fairly simple. You, it just sends um, TCP data to the IP address that is given to the the Arduino Ethernet shield, and uh, the Arduino program, which also isn't too hard. I tweaked it from the the examples. Uh, the the Ethernet web server um, examples, I tweaked it to suit this. So um, Java will send a, like, yes, I'll explain it when we're, we're using it. So uh, say now if I, I'll start up the Minecraft server. It's just a normal bucket server. I'm pretty sure this will work for any Minecraft server. Um, I've tested it on my one that's hosted uh, across the internet. So it does work on ones outside your network as well. So I shall start up the application. It's a command. Um, it's a command line one. So if I start up command prompt, like so, and if I go to my desktop, cd desktop. Oh, sorry, I spelled it wrong. Typical Frank. There we go, it's running now, sorry about that. Right, so we have our Java plus Arduino Minecraft server status indicator version 0 0.1 beta, blah, 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 blah. So we'll start off here, please enter the Arduino server IP. So this is the IP address that is assigned to the Arduino. By default, for me, it's 192.168.1.2. 168.1.2. Hit enter. And the default port, which is 8888, which it is by the why you set up in the when you program the Arduino. And uh, in this case, this is um, this bucket server is on localhost, which will be 127.0.0.1. If you have uh, a different um, server that's external, you can put in that IP as well. I'll show you one once I have this done. So we hit enter on that, that's right. So 25565, 25565, oh shoot, 25565, hit enter. And please enter the online recheck interval, which is in milliseconds, so many times, like every so, how often do you want it to recheck to see if the server's online? You shouldn't really do this um, too long. You should really do like, possibly like every 15 minutes every half an hour or every hour but for this i'm going to do it every 10 seconds so you can see it working so every 10 seconds it would be is that 10,000 milliseconds something like that i think that's 10 seconds which sure anyway you'll see so the second i hit enter now it'll start doing its thing and you should see a green light because the server is online now you see the green light there connected to our arduino 192.168.102 minecraft server 127.0.0.1 on 
port 565 is online sending to Arduino success closing connection so each time it goes around to check it sends the sends data to the Minecraft server Java does this and if it's if it's online that it sends a message to the Arduino that says online and if it's online it turns on the green light and you'll see now when I d turn off the server that it'll the red light will come on so it sends it sends offline to the Arduino so then it turns off on, on the red light so now if you see if I stop this if I stop the server and you can see it as well 127.0.0.1 that it's uh, every time it pings it that it does come up in the console from on the Minecraft server. So I'm just going to stop the server now by typing stop, and you'll see now the red the red, green light should change to red, and the program will exit. There we go, it changed to red, and it says server offline program now at exiting. There's really no point in trying to keep going with this. If the server is offline, I don't, I don't see if there's a point really. I suppose you could put like a, a timestamp of when it did go offline. I'll, I'll try a version with like when it is offline. It's just the exceptions will keep coming up, and sometimes, like if you try to start this program, um, if you try to start it and your server isn't even on, like the server, even if Sorry, the the program will automatically exit because of the except the exception handling. I don't know, Java is a bit picky about if it can't connect to something, it gives up a bit easily, but anyway. So I can show you now with um my Minecraft server that I have online that's outside my network. So if I close I can start up the program again so it's java statues it starts it up it entered a arduino server 192.168.1.2 enter 8888 entered um what is my the ip address of the server again all right i'll just copy that Paste um, port 25565 online recheck 1000 millisecond. Well, 100,000 just like it. You'll see now the second I hit enter that it should go um, green. Now, see, it's green. That's because the server is online, obviously. So, and it'll do this every 10 seconds, it'll keep going around. I may I'll post the source code and everything in time. I just need to play around with it, and make sure it works fine. So this is I wanted to show you this because I uh, I think it's pretty cool, and I have not seen it done anywhere else. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions? Just give me a shout.